In the annals of history, there are two defining chapters in the study of the nation. The pre-independent struggle and the post-independence era. It's a very bright morning, everyone, filled with the hues of our tricolors. Today, I, Nidya, I, Anika, of Class 11 d on the occasion of Independence Day, is going to talk about the pre- and the post-India. What is pre-independence? The era of depression, poverty, and sacrifices of many people. Yes, but also the era of immense courage and determination. For years, the land was under foreign subjugation, but the indomitable spirit of a fear of violence shone brightly. What is post-independence era? The struggle for development, self-empowerment, and dignity? Right, the era that brought new opportunities and challenges. We embraced democracy and crafted constitution that enshrined justice, liberty, and equality of all. You all must know about the project Central Vista, under which our parliamentary building was redeveloped. We are no more dependent on the old British structures for our parliamentary sessions now. We were considered as a nation truly dependent on agriculture. Yes, we accept the fact that India has large number of farmers and till date people connected to agriculture. But can we deny the technological progress? and development in tertiary and secondary sector. Don't we have the presence of world you know, services multinationals? Not just that, so many people still question about the education system of India. But let me remind you that CEOs of world's biggest companies, Google, Microsoft, Adobe, are from India. Far back, no one even thought that a country like India will dominate in all sectors. But our progress showed it all. World's longest single highway tube tunnel, known as Atal Tunnel, is our achievement. Indian people face so many hardships in even traveling from one place to another. As Britishers have developed railways, but it wasn't proper in any means. The rails were mostly used for their own economical activities. But see us now. We have the fourth largest railway network in the world. India is shining at the field of space as well. Our Mars mission, Chandrayaan mission, all these shows are incredible achievements. It's hard to believe for a country like India, which was considered backwards and under immense poverty, achieving these high peaks. India ranks fifth in terms of GDP and soon going to become the third largest economy. How can we forget about the wealthiest people of India? Mukesh Ambani, Gautam Adani, Lakshmi Mittal. Some of them are also in the list of top 10 wealthiest people in the world. We are also hosting big meetings like G20 Summit. And do you know? We are the first South Asian country to do so. We are also part of big strategic security dialogue like what? All this shows our power and hard work. But we cannot totally forget the role of freedom fighters who sacrifice their life for the future and freedom of our country. We have also developed national war memorials for the martyrs who sacrifice their lives for our nation. During the colonial boom, there was no thought of encouragement for a wonderful plan. But now, how great players like Abhinav Bindra, Neera Chopra, Mary Kong, Pete Yusha, and never-ending list of players representing our country on global stage. How can we forget about the commercial games like cricket? You all must know about BCCI, which is the wealthiest cricket governing body in the world. We also hosted Commonwealth Games, which was a huge step up for Indian players and sports management. See us now. This is the new India. Yes, exactly. During the British era, there was no particular manufacture of defense weapons. But we are self-reliant now. We are making our own arms and weapons. Submarines like Arivan, helicopters like Krachan are all produced by India. We are proud to say that Indian Army ranked fourth on the World Military Strength Ranking List. Earlier, India was known as Tony Kichiria, but they left us with no winners. Now see, we are on the path of becoming an even greater version of that Tony Kichiria as India has industrious youth like you and me. We are no more the past. We are the present and the future. We are no more broken. We are the whole now. We have come a long way and the best is yet to come. So let us carry the spirit of free independence heroes in our hearts as we shape our post-independence India that will continue to shine 
rightly on the world stages. Kooj raha hai dunia mein, Hindustan ka nara, jabak raha hai aasman mein, aasiranga amara, Jai Hind, Jai Hind! Thank you, Rizya and Anita, for every single such a valuable thought. Please put your hands together for them. Aadhaar Stam.